Today we're going to use TraceView to investigate ORMs and their performance within a PHP application. Our PHP application is built on the CodeIgniter framework and we're using CodeIgniter's built-in ORM. ORMs can be great. They simplify your code, allow cleaner abstractions, and even help prevent some common security issues like SQL injection. The application we're looking at here is a DB heavy app, which we can see by looking at the latency breakdown. Displayed at the top, we can see that we're looking at about 3,500 requests from the last 24 hours. On average, each request spends about 300 milliseconds in the database and only about 100 milliseconds in PHP itself. Since the database is the biggest contributor to this application's latency, let's click on that layer and drill down. That removes the other layers from our view, but we've also changed what we're looking at slightly. Instead of seeing that 300 milliseconds in the database, we're now only seeing an average of less than one millisecond. Why is that? Well, we're now looking at individual calls to the database instead of the total time per request. This change is reflected at the top of the page. Instead of just 3,500 requests, we actually see nearly 800,000 database queries being made in the same time period. We can also look at this data through the heat map. This confirms what we were seeing in the average. The upper bound, which defaults to the 98th percentile, is just around 50 milliseconds. The vast majority of the calls to our database are fast. To understand why our requests are still relatively slow, let's switch over to the list of traces and look at an individual request. At the request level, we can see exactly what our app is doing. The time we saw spent in the database isn't from slow queries it's from looping over the same fast query more than 250 times. We fingerprinted this common query here in the trace notes so you can see the structure without the exact data that might have changed on each call. To see the full query, let's drill down on one of these segments. Along with a backtrace, this exposes the full query we sent to the database. We're only selecting a single row on each of these calls. The literals here are the limit and offset parameters generated by the ORM as we access each dependent property inside a loop in our application's code. Now that we have all the information we need, we can make this much faster by rewriting this data access to batch up these calls, avoiding the classic n plus 1 problem we seem to be experiencing. That would reduce this down to merely two database queries, avoiding the overhead of those 250 round trips, and give us a much more responsive website. If you want to hunt down this performance problem in your app, sign up for a free trial of TraceView today.